Hello everyone and welcome to Folk Monsters vlog for the Warhammer for the Thousand Gaming System created by Games Workshop based in the UK and welcome to this midway update today it is the 3rd of August 2013 it's my first video for this month and um, yeah uh, I'm closing up on my last work weekend and after that I'm sort of free to say so I'm gonna get back to the university and yeah, no more working, it's just studying, 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 and perhaps some partying. But anyways, moving on, moving on. Uh, for some strange, re uh, strange reason, uh, lately I've gotten a lot of new su subscribers, and I, I just want to say that's very great. I want to thank you all for that. It's very nice to see some people who are interested in my work. And uh, please leave comments on things I'm doing good, so I will know what you want what, so I know what you want what you want from me what I can expect of you to like and stuff like that and uh, and due to this thing I'm thinking about doing a shout out uh, I'm gonna be recommending some uh, for you viewers what kind of channels you should be watching besides my own uh, because this this community isn't about um, competing for people's attention or uh, or having the most subscribers. It's about sharing your hobby, it's about sharing your thoughts, it's about sharing your tips. So it, that's why I want to do this shout out and recommend things that I want uh, you to watch besides, yeah, as I said, my own channel. I already have some of them uh, lined up for, for this shout out, but if you have, uh, yeah, and this is the only thing I demand from you. I want you to actually have videos of interest to the hobby. That's the only demand I have in this shout out. But if you have some interesting videos and you want to be promoted by me, now I don't have any, I don't have that many viewers to actually uh, sh show you. But I have some at least to, to spread around. But if you have some interesting videos and you want to. Sh to be a shout out and stuff like that you could write a comment right below down here and then you can ex pretty much explain a bit a little bit on uh, what, uh, what you do and what I should tell uh, tell about your channel and you could also perhaps uh, send if you want me to show some material from your channel like pictures or if you want me to show, show you a short video you could either email me at uh, vampire slayer at live dot se that's an alternative mail address for me and then you could send your material to that email address but please leave a comment first so I know who you are and then you could send the, the material on on the email and after that I can try and edit it in a nice way while promoting your video but that after uh, getting your consensus about it so yeah, so that's what I want to do. I want to do a big shout out. In this midway update, however, I also want to show you some other thing, and that's my next test model for my Traitor Guard army. And I, I remember when I what I, I've been watching around on the on YouTube for videos on uh, for tip and and uh, imagination and some inspiration on how to paint Traitor Guardsmen. And I remember on one particular video, there was a, one guy who did a review on the Dark Vengeance box and he said, well, you get two sets of the same models pretty much and how did Games Workshop uh, work that out? Well, they took the second set and painted the same colors just in reverse. So if the armor is red and the clothing is gray, they would switch that around on the ne next model. So that's what I did for this test model. If you've seen test model number one, you will see that I went with the idea that the main clothing should be red and the armor should be grey. For this model I did a switcheroo and changed that. So now I don't think you can see that very good, but the main armor is painted in red and the clothing, well that you should see, see at least, is painted in grey. Uh, yeah, now, now you see it, it's a bit better. Hmm? 
So, uh, how I did this is quite uh, simple. The first thing I did was to paint the armor in lead belcher as a foundation base. And then after that I dry brushed with Evil Sun Scarlet on top of that so I still had some of the metallic, uh, me the metallic still uh, in the main armor. I got that idea from a, um, uh, a thread on uh, Heresy Online. I, I can't link to it right now but uh, if, I, if I ever found it or if you by any chance happen to find me and want to be promoted, yeah that's my ID. Please uh, tell, let me know so I, I can give the proper uh, uh, credit, uh, so I can give the proper credit to the right person. Uh, for the skin, I used elf flesh. That's the most common uh, skin color I use for my models. There are many other skin colors you could use, but uh, I, I prefer it because it's the, the lightest one and it's easier to paint on top so it doesn't get too dark. Uh, yeah, and after that uh, I make, went for the main armor and for that I used a simple color known as Codex Grey. It's an old color, I think it's been updated with a new name, but uh, I think you perhaps shouldn't have too much trouble finding out what the new color name is for that. And, and as you can see on here, for instance on the pocket, I've highlighted on the on the on the clothing, and with that, as to do that, I simply did with ceramite ceramite white, the white, the white color, the new skull white uh, equivalents, equivalents. Mm -hmm. And I've used Mornfang brown uh, for painting on the knife as you can see here the sh 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 sheathing the yeah you know, the, the pocket where you put the knife I don't know the proper name I painted it on the ammo back or the, on the grenade backpack here on the back uh, that backpack is from the death corpse of creek package uh, I managed to get some of it uh, uh, from uh, on a Swedish version of the eBay and I painted it on the on the the gun here. Uh, I said that I wanted my guns to look a bit woody because uh, they look a bit uh, retro. They look baroque from the they, they kind of look like old weapons from the mid 18th century. And I think that's a very good chaotic feeling to it. Also, if you've seen uh, some of the Vostroyans, they have the same thing, that they have woody weapons and uh, I think they look very chaotic in their theme. And uh, now I've forgotten the word here, the stock, I think it's called a stock, on the last gun, which is also from the Death Corps of Krieg, is also painted in more fine brown. Now let's go into the actual model. Uh, the main foundation of this model is uh, a Cadian Shock Trooper. The legs, the, the upper thorax or the chest piece, the, uh, the head and the right arm are a Cadian Shock Trooper from a Cadian Shock Trooper box. This last gun is supposed to be for, uh, is for, the, for sergeants. The left arm is a bit different however, that's from a uh, uh, Lima Ross box, uh, which is supposed to be for the tank commander. The main reason because I chose this one is because it doesn't have an armor piece here on the shoulder, unlike here on the right arm. And that gives a bit of feeling that uh, this guy has just t uh, he's p plucked uh, whatever type of armor he could find and put put it together like a mishmash. That's that's the, my main idea of how a treaty guardsman is uh, pretty much. He, he used all the equipment from fallen foes uh, uh, to, his to his best experience and uh, 
so that's why he doesn't have a shoulder pad for his left arm because he simply haven't found one or his previous one is ruined or something like that. Uh, then we can go into the face. As you can see, he has a rebreather mask. That one you can get from a Cajun Shock Trooper command box. Uh, in each box, there is about five of, of these rebreather masks. Uh, I think I had during my Imperial Guard collecting uh, era, I I managed to acquire uh, I think around three three command boxes. So I have I should have at least. 15 of these rebreather re re masks just laying around. So now I thought, now it's, I think this is a proper time to use them for a change. So yeah, that's what I use for the, the for the pieces. Then on the head, uh, a usual uh, Kidney Shock Trooper head has an Imperial Aquila or a winged skull on the front. Mm. That I scraped off, and instead I used a transfer sheet for the Chaos Undivided 8-pointed star, which you can find in the Chaos Space Marines transfer sheets. And I used the same type of star here on the shoulder pad, so because if I didn't use these, this could be pretty much be just a simple Imperial Guardsman uh, who is a bit click plucked with his armor. But these are the main connections that he is actually chaotic. For the base, I've used a simple thing, now I don't remember what it's called, but if you look down below here, if you look down below here, there will appear uh, information about where I managed to acquire this cardboard thing, which I've used to look like he's wandering on a metallic pla plate, or if he's walking around on a Imperial ship or whatever. But how I, I simply started out with Abaddon Black, which uh, you can see here, Abaddon Black as a base, and then I dry brushed with Lead Belcher on top of that, this one. And then you simply, might, uh, simply have a metallic base. The skulls, which is another thing which I think it makes it look more like a, uh, makes it look more like a chaos uh, devoted uh, follower is that he, he has a f lots of skulls in front of him and uh, those I acquired from a pimp up my base schemes workshop special special uh, box I, I, I don't know what it's called but I think they updated those into more specific uh, pimp up my base boxes with more uh, inspirational themes like snow or, or if you're over neck rounds and stuff like that, so there's a lot of sh to choose from. Uh, you shouldn't have any tr trouble finding them in a, your local Games Workshop store. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, so now you know that. Uh, this, uh, and uh, one last thing. Uh, this I would consider that this model in painting style would resemble a more chaos undivided rather than my chaos undivided with a bit undertone of corn. So the, I would say this is a more chaos undivided. Uh, my main idea of how to make chaos undivided would pretty much be that you have more ne neutral colors for the clothing, like grey, perhaps yellow blue or something like that nothing too strong that's uh, which I have pointed out to be a very main thing for the other chaos gods and then you could use some more uh, other uh, color for the armor to yeah give some contrast to that but uh, yeah this is my fourth test model I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope it's been useful for you uh, I can tell you that the, the painting guide is on its way to be finished. We can take a quick look here. This will be my fifth test model which will appear in a close future. Uh, you have already seen bits of it but now you get a more proper look at it. I am going for a undead theme so I think he will be a bit nurgling or something like that. Then we had a Chaos Undivided, which I talked about earlier, but with a bit undertone of uh, corn. I will be doing the last step for these before finishing them up. 
Then we have the more proper Slaneshi model here, which is also on the verge of becoming finished. Then we have the Korn, which will take a little bit longer than the others because he has a banner which I'm gonna be pimping up, ping, 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 ping up as well. I'm not entirely certain how I'm gonna be doing it, but I have some kind of ideas. And the last, which happens to be a more Alpha Legion, uh, neutral, Chaos Undivided cultist to say so. He's also on the verge of becoming finished. And then we have some Imperial Guard, as you can see here, which I'm gonna be wrapping up and changing about, uh, around a little bit. The one in the front you might recognize from my first Imperial Guard spin-off series episode. The others might be unknown to you guys, but they will appear in, in, a f in future videos. And lastly, I have my last Warp Talon and my last Chaos Raptor uh, coming up to be finished. So yeah. This is what uh, so this is what I'm currently doing at the moment. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please don't forget to rate and subscribe my videos. Please give a thumbs up, and also leave comments on things I'm doing good, so we we'll keep on doing them. And leave negative critique on things I'm doing bad, so we will either improve or remove the content entirely. Thank you very much for watching this. Death to the false emperor. Bye.